hi welcome back to my channel um i wanted to do a video on i'm on it i feel like in the last like five videos i've been wearing a, a uh red jumper but i swear to god it's a different day um and they're not the same jumper it's two jumpers <laughs> um so there we go um Basically, I think the first video I'm going to be doing today, because I've got two ideas, um, is basically about coming into yourself, especially if you're an empath, because there's this, this, or just someone that has, I mean, just anyone, honestly, actually, could, could take from this advice, but the, the importance of giving to people that deserve it, and holding and preserving yourself for people that don't because I like to think of some people like human black holes and you can give and you can give and you can give and you can give but your energy will be sucked into a vortex of a black hole so that energy is therefore wasted and unfortunately even like I we definitely can't control what happens to us in childhood we can't control what happens to us in terms of abuse that is their responsibility I mean it's our responsibility to heal but it's their choice which isn't our fault but at the same time like I'm not a therapist so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like try and molly coddle anyone but I'm just saying like, I've gone through the mental health system anyway so the fact is even though people have like issues from the past, I feel like it's still our own personal responsibility to um, like like end up building boundaries. But it's so important, I feel like, to, to hold back what is rightfully yours. Because what you give to others, you give to yourself. And if you have codependency backgrounds like me, I feel like you're just programmed to give to other people before you because there's there's radiators and there's energy suckers but it's so important to learn what like through life what who's gonna who it's gonna benefit to be honest like i feel like friendships healthy friendships um that are like you know balanced in some way and you're not sort of cannibalizing each other i like to put it as you sort of start to impede each other's boundaries too much to the point where someone's uncomfortable you don't start to diminish each other's personalities and stuff like that so that's what i would consider a healthy friendship healthy relationships that you know <laughs> haven't had one of those in a while but hopefully one day <laughs> but it's just, that's all kind of an example of stuff where you're giving your goodness to, to other people i can't speak for all types of people because i'm not all types of people but i just know as like an, a sensitive person as well like it can be really overwhelming when you're sort of surrounded by toxic people and that sucks that's probably a whole other thing but, but like the power of saying no is such a powerful thing like um and like cutting out what doesn't serve you like this fact is people are going to try and diminish you um whether you call that it's obviously that's a toxic relationship of any sorts but obviously we have all sorts of relationships in life and i'm being honest like in life like i do have to live with other people like I do have to go to the shop and if there's a bit of a weird vibe with like one of the cashiers that I see all the time like that's a bit annoying um you know or vice versa maybe I've given weird vibes to people that when I've gone into a shop too many times because I in lockdown used to just go to loads of different shops because I was just that bored and I literally had nothing to do um so yeah maybe I gave that vibe to someone but regardless um we all get weird vibes off each other at times I guess um but I think also recognising the importance of empathy, how it's a gift and how, how like life is a gift in general. Like I feel like, like I feel like things like, um, I think things should be earned though. I think I'm putting more of an emphasis on things should be earned. Like things like, you know, um, in relationships and with yourself, like, I mean like not necessarily with yourself, yourself is like your prime person, you know, but you do have set standards and boundaries of yourself as well, which is a, d a different thing altogether, but maybe we'll do a video on that at some point um but I don't I'm not really much of a boundary person I'm not even gonna write that down because I feel like I'm not much of a boundary person like I'm a very like free-spirited kind of person so anything that I go about just boundaries don't always help so yeah using as well like the idea of like some stuff that some people do it's intrinsically true that some people's shame and like negativity will be triggered because of your very being like if you're like an outspoken person like me or even just a confident person like a naturally confident I'm not naturally confident but I'm also like a person that I feel like I have positive vibes like that will literally trigger a lot of people off um and their shame centers 
just by my, like your very being. <laughs> I don't want to sound like cocky. Again, this is like someone else has like put that in my brain. Like I'm not being cocky by saying that, it's the truth. And like using that almost as a weapon, I feel like to people that are negative that you don't want in your space can be actually a really helpful thing because like this is like a sad fact but it's true it's like some people get very angry when they experience a, ne a positive like healthy person because they aren't they aren't able to achieve that in, in certain aspects of themselves like obviously we all have our strong traits and we all have our weak traits but if someone shows off a strong trait that someone else cannot imitate such as empathy such as natural positivity and a drive from positive emotion over negative emotion it can really trigger someone else that doesn't have that mindset because it sort of triggers their, ina their inadequacy and their ego ego issues for that way <coughs> so yeah i just feel like that's like a really powerful thing um and can be used i don't want to say as a weapon but it can be as a weapon like we all have to defend ourselves as well um so in terms of as well, I'll just the last thing I say is, is I was I've watched a lot of videos recently and I, I always obviously take what people say with a pinch of salt off the internet. I've found so much helpful stuff on the internet about different personality issues and stuff that's just helped me make so much sense of my life. Um, it's amazing the community's on YouTube. Like thank you, uh, Jesus. But it's a case of I feel like um, things like respect, like and common courtesy um you know responsibility for the self like just stuff like happiness like well-rounded lifestyle is all so important stuff that brings longevity and happiness and fulfillment satisfaction joy and makes a life worth living but at the same time it's just so important to monitor who of those people in your life because so many people will try and suck life from you and so many people will try and bring you down and it's just so important to what people you pay attention to and what you decide to brush off and what you decide to you know act on um, because I was gonna put this in another video I don't know if I will apparently one thought that you have can change your whole attitude for the day like one thought can can change your entire brain chemistry like one resonation on one thing negative or positive can change your entire resonation of the day and i'm definitely against false positivity i really don't like false positivity but i also don't like negativity that is perpetual and you do have other options to focus on other things because negative things in life are going to happen anyway i feel like it's what you focus on in that day and i'm, I'm le i learned the other day to shift your focus onto something that is more easily you know it was better for your brain to deal with if you like <laughs> but yeah i think that's basically everything because i think it's helped me grow my faith of like god but also i feel like very protected and like just in myself and just guided at the moment in life um and I just feel like I've got this level of protection from negative people, but that's just me. But it even says in the Bible, like, people that try and curse you will be cursed themselves. Like, in terms of, like, you know, if people want bad for you or they th do things in your life that are going to be negative to bring you down to, to their level for whatever reason, they will be brought down themselves. Um, you know, I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm sure this goes for me and other people. But, I mean, of course, so I'm any other human being. But at the same time, God has us all in his hands and in his plan and it just, every single day, I hear, I heard the other day that people, like, not everyone I know, not everyone even believes in God, but if you believe in God like me, every single day, um, I'm going to try and show gratitude to God and have a connection with God, like, for me personally, as someone that was brought up a Catholic and also that is reconnected to, to God, <laughs> but it's just really bringing me a lot of strength because it says the Lord is our shepherd, but not only our shepherd, is our rock. And he's been my rock recently because people can't hold your hope at the end of the day. People are children of God as well. And they're not God himself. Um, even though we were built in his image, we are all children of God at the end of the day. But anyway, thank you for listening. I'm going to stop rambling now because it's just kind of digressed on to other things. Bye. <laughs>